Hey guys, so what's up? Uh, basically, I just finished exams, so I thought I would uh, make a tutorial for you guys. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of you guys probably had exams as well, so you've probably been revising just like me. Um, but yeah, so this tutorial will be on creating a spaceship in Cinema 4D. It's not going to be like a proper realistic one, it's going to be kind of like a one you would see in an animation an animated movie or something like that um if you can if you look you can look on our facebook page to see what, how it's gonna look like i posted a preview of the tutorial um there so yeah like the facebook page and follow us on twitter so yeah let's get started now you're gonna start by making a cylinder and you can obviously decide on the radiuses for it depending on how the scale you're gonna want to make the object. I'm just gonna go with a hundred. Oop, not that big. That's not a hundred. There we go. Um, the height you want about I don't know, like let's. I don't know. You want to do it kind of by by sight. Um, so I don't know about two ninety maybe. Yeah, that looks alright. Um height segments you want to pull them up so when we smooth it it's going to look look even better basically and rotation segments i don't know we can turn them down to like 20. we don't need more than 20 for rotation ones um because this is going to get squished the top um so yeah now you want to add a taper you can do that by going there to this weird kind of bend thing and holding down and clicking a taper add this to the cylinder by going there um, now you want to make the taper the same height as your cylinder so I put a height of 290 so you want to make sure you're doing the y-axis which is the middle so do it like that there you go um, strength turn up to exactly 100% because you don't want it to, you want it to confine into one dot, and we'll you'll see how we kind of flatten it, but a tiny bit later on. Um, so yeah, the curvature you want, I don't know, maybe you can kind of choose this how you want, the how how realistic you want the spaceship. I guess you could make one of those like alien things. Uh, can't remember what they're called, but you know those. You know what I mean. Um, or you, but for the spaceship, I'm gonna choose about about there. I guess that looks okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's turn up a little bit. There we go. Make a make it look a little bit less realistic. Um so now go to your right your cylinder, right click it and make sure you click on current state to object. This kind of makes an object which is like directly editable. Um for, so yeah. Um now we can kinda of hide this by just clicking the top one there. Uh, we don't really need that anymore. But obviously keep it there, don't delete it. Um yeah, so yeah, now let's go to the polygon tool. Make sure you click this and then here and choose the rectangle selection thing. Um, it's pretty simple tools to use. Um, and now you're going to want to make sure you uncheck this so that when you select, you want to select the top to three rows. So you un you un unselect that because otherwise if you do it like that you wouldn't be able to get the other ones on the other side so as you can see select it all make sure you're level with it so it doesn't do the other ones and just double check there we go so yeah top three rows um now you can just click right click go extrude and this kind of settings pop up here um want to click apply if it doesn't do by itself 
Um, obviously, you can kind of control it yourself. Um, you can see. So yeah, uh, I think that looks maybe a little bit more about there. So I'm using 7.5, and you can do the um, division. Just put one to add a little bit more detail. So when it smooths it out, smoothens, if that's a word, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so once that's done, you can see you've got a little bit of an outline of the spaceship. So go to hypernerbs and drag the polygon cylinder, which is this weird kind of logo here, into the hypernerbs. And make sure you turn hypernerbs off as you don't really need to see it. As you can see, that's how it looks with hypernerbs. So you can get a quick idea of how the rocket or a spaceship is going to look. Um, turn it off so you can actually directly see what you're doing. Um, go now back to your live selection and select any four squares. I'm going to choose these ones. Oh, these are going to be difficult because I'm holding my mic. I haven't got the best possible mic for this job. Um, I'm, I'm going to be investing in a Blue Yeti, but currently I'm just holding one of those rubbish mics. Um, so then yeah, you select four in a box and you'll one, two, three, four. Um don't, oh there. Pressing the wrong button. Uh, I'm not gonna bother doing it, I can't really do it with um the mic I'm holding. So just select those four. And you guys can actually skip the one, two, three, four, and then do another one f here, and then skip another four, and select those, and skip another four, and select those, until you've got four looking, four windows um, for you to use. So, then you want to go to the right click, and go to extrude inner, wherever that is, and you want to take the offset to about, I don't know, um, you don't want it too much. You want it about there. Three, I guess. That looks all right. Uh, you can go on the side view for this part. And then you want to right click again and click extrude. And make sure you still have all of the those four different windows you've selected and once just another one pops up called extrude do the offset to about oh, and apply it first um, about three yeah that looks pretty good subdivision zero you don't want any subdivisions there um, then go again back to extrude inner the reason we're doing this is because if you just add one of them, it doesn't kind of layer them on, it just one, does one straight. So we wouldn't be able to get ridges in the windows. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Um, so then you, that's going to basically choose the thickness of the that ridge you make. So I'd put it about there, let's say. And obviously you guys can control it how you want. Turn the subdivision to 2 um, to get a little bit more detail. Then go back to extrude again and go offset of um, maybe minus, yeah, offset of minus 1 or minus 2, minus 1. I, wouldn't, I think minus 1 is a little bit too little if that makes sense. Uh, two's, minus two looks good. And you can make the subdivisions of uh, 
minus one. Actually, no. What am I talking? You don't want to. You want to keep it at one. Um, yeah. So go back now. Finally, for the last time, we're going to extrude inner and make the offset of about one point four, or maybe a little bit more. One point eight. I put. The, I'm going to use one point eight, and I'm going to turn the subdivision down to one. Now. As you can see, that gives you the window, and if you can zoom out, you'll be able to see on your computer how it actually does look. Um, going to front view, I'm going to go here, and using the freehand tool, uh, you want to make sure you do a sp spleen spline or however you say it onto your basically your uh, spaceship here so just draw three random just draw kind of random shape obviously mine's not going to be great right now but yeah and then you can select the move tool and move them to how to make them a little better. Obviously, you guys can take more time. Just the tutorial is getting a little bit long. Um, so yeah, and then go back to your normal view. Obviously, it's not the best wing. <laughs> uh, add the extrude nerves. Drag the spleen into the nerves. And you can delete those two there, which I did by accident when I was just clicking randomly. Uh, I'm going to take make the size a little bit smaller, drag it back here. And as you can see, you've got a bit of a wing. Obviously, the shape's not perfect, um, but it's okay for just a tutorial sake. Now, you want to add an array by going there, clicking it. Um, you want to drag the extrude nerves into the array, and as you can see, you get kind of a array of objects, Hit, which is obviously why it's called array. Um, you want to just turn the copies down to a to like to the de de obviously depending on what you want to use this for. If you want to make like fight weird spaceship, obviously you can use as many copies as you want, but I'm going to use just two. Um, as you can see, it's kind of looking alright now. A uh, bit of a spaceship. And y you can now... Mm, if we got time... Uh, I'll do it quickly. We can add a cylinder to make the kind of bottom of the spaceship you know where all the ga the fuel comes out when it f flies um as you that's with the hypernerves um just drifting off there uh so y this will be where all the fuel comes out and this where is it um There we go. Yeah, that's that's the cylinder we've just added, and make sure that when you when you position it, you want to have the uh, the height not too. Sorry, what am I saying? The radius about. You don't want it to be as big as the actual thing. So I'd say about forty, and maybe. The height, I don't know, height, you don't really need the height that much, just a little, okay, maybe a little bit sticking out, um, about there, should be fine, and make sure you just have no caps, um, so you can actually see the hole in there, and turn the rotation segments down to, I don't know, about 10, 
and maybe the height segments to 10 as well and hit that hit C to make it editable and choose the polygon tool and the rectangle selection and select alternate altern alternating rows obviously I'm not going to be able to do this with my mic oh maybe no okay yeah basically just select alternate rows uh, of the cylinder so starting from this one miss that one go that one you know what I mean and then when you do that so I'll just do the bottom row uh, right click and then go extrude and then make it the offset of about three I'd say four is a bit much so just there I want to use 3.1 and then put this into your new hypernerbs and you'll see it smooth it smoothens out on the when you've actually done alternate rows and now you can check all the hypernerbs and you've got yourself a decent looking spaceship um obviously that doesn't look great but you can just play around with that so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the tutorial um it's the first time I've been back for a while. Um, expect more tutorials coming soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.